Farnieres. I'm here for Cinegi. I have the pleasure of talking with Kayla Rain from the new, from the show Resident Evil Alien, which is currently on the third season. And you can watch the first two seasons on Netflix and Peacock. And the new season, the third season, is available on Wednesdays on Sci-Fi and the next day on Peacock. Wow, what an intro. <laughs> so, how are you, so how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm excited for this. Excited to chat with you guys. Awesome. So I wanted to ask you first, what is your favorite alien? Let me go and give you a few options here. Could be Harry. Could be E.T. Could be the Xenomorph from Aliens or anything else. Oh, oh. Um, I was in one of my favorite aliens is, uh, the doctor, the doctor who, um, oh, cool. any of the doctors, but I, I mean, for today's sake, I shouldn't would say Harry, Harry Van Der Spiegel. <laughs> there we go. Good. <laughs> and I love our, I love our blue avian. It's been such a treat to, to see that come to life. Um, knowing it was coming and then yeah. seeing it on screen, two very different experiences. So exciting. <laughs> very good. Good answer. Good answer. Very, very good. The I think the the success of your show has been the cast. All you guys get along well, and that seems to be close through the through the camera, and people are appreciated. And what do you think it has been the the reason why you guys have been so complement each other, and, and it feels like you are a family. I think that's the success of any of the greatest shows, the big shows. Uh, I mean, I think something we have to be grateful for is our showrunner, Chris Sheridan, for bringing all of us together. Um, it doesn't just happen that you have it that clicks really well and that is also so technically proficient and so professional. Um, I tell you, we love each other so much on set. If we weren't professionals, we'd get nothing done. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think, I mean, credit, real credit is due. Everyone is wonderful individually, and I'm so grateful to Chris for bringing us all together to work on this set. This is wonderful synergy that happens in a lot of really interesting kind of overlap in our individual stories as people. Um, yeah, especially, I don't think it's been a, a sci-fi <laughs> phenomenon. He's <laughs> been in everything, like Star Wars. <laughs> so how is it working with him? Because at least what we can see on camera is, so much fun he brings comedy chops and everything also the way he portrays harry is amazing yeah he is uh this is an incredibly talented man um he's been in like you said he's been in everything um i think it's really impressive when people can transition from theater to film so seamlessly as well and to do both of those things really well i think often people are really good at one or the other it's impressive to me when people are great at both it's like a lovely guy to work with. Um, I remember on my first day on set, I was 17. Um, it was my first day on our set, but it was our first day on any set. Um, wow. And yeah, it was a big deal. It was for the pilot episode. I didn't understand how big a deal it was at the time. And now I can really look back and see all of it. Um, I remember Alan and I had a great, oh, he showed me a, a playlist he was making on how to be a human. Um <laughs> how to relate to human and it was it was really nice it was really nice as like a young person coming onto set to have that time um with some of the core cast and with the producers and the directors to like take time to bring me in for a rehearsal ahead of time just more to meet people and to get comfortable um so that transition into set life was as seamless as possible yeah i think that's one of the benefits having a better an actor in their crew because can give you some pointers, help you out. And I think that reflects on the show itself, the way everybody handles yourself. Uh, it's amazing. I love the show. It's been fantastic. And yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. So uh, highly recommend it to everybody who hasn't watched it. As I say, you can watch it on Netflix. And it's been amazing. So I know we're running out of time here. I want to know if you can send, give a message to hear the people in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So, in, Puerto, in Puerto Rico, yeah. Absolutely. Everybody, everybody out there, come watch Resident Alien Wednesdays, 10 p.m. sci-fi, next day, Peacock, Netflix. It's everywhere. There's no avoiding us. Come and watch. You'll love it. Yes, you would love it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Excellent success. I uh, hope you continue your career with this, these shows and a lot of good stuff. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good right, one.
You too. Bye bye. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. I kind of know how to. I'm the